Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who aren't subscribed, you better subscribe because uh, I'm nervous. I don't really know how to work a camera. I don't know how to focus a camera. I don't know how to use a camera. But I'm still gonna make a video anyway. If you're watching this, you're probably gonna suffer. Look at me itching, I swear I don't have lice. Also, I've been sitting here looking at the camera for like five minutes maybe without saying anything because I don't know what to say and I don't know how to start my YouTube videos. I need hope. Today... Okay, I suck. Anyways, I want to film a question and answer because I feel like you guys should get to know more about me. Even if you don't care. I don't really know where I'm going with this. I just kind of feel like answering questions because I'm lazy and I'm out of ideas and I don't know what else to do. So please just ask me questions so I can answer them. I posted a thing on my Instagram story that said, ask me questions, but I don't think anyone's gonna listen to it and I don't think anyone's gonna ask me questions. So I have balloons today because I celebrated the other day for no reason. So I'm surrounded by balloons. I have two questions right now, so I'm gonna get started. First question. Ooh, I don't know what to start with. I feel like the first one is supposed to be like a good one. A good one. A good one. To set it off. What am I doing again? Oh yeah. So I'm. Uh, Okay, I'm gonna start, I promise. I'm gonna start right now. We're actually doing kind of well right now. I have four questions, which is good. Content, you know, content. Four whole questions. First question. What's your weirdest food combo? Well, first of all... I don't eat. This is a hard question to answer because currently I'm vegan, so I'm not eating as many foods as I would normally eat. Like, I just eat fruit and potatoes. Not together, no. That would be a weird combo though. The weirdest food combo that I eat, I don't know, this isn't really weird, but I put ketchup on grilled cheese sandwiches. I feel like a lot of people do that. Like I remember back in the day when I did that, I used to be like really self-conscious about it. Like when I'm out to eat with people and I get a grilled cheese and I just have to put ketchup on it, I was always so embarrassed. Miley Cyrus does the same thing, so that's not actually that weird. I feel like that's kind of common. My brother used to dip his grapes in ketchup but that's not something I do, so that doesn't count either. Oh, I know something weird that I do. So when I go to Buffalo Wild Wings, fun fact, I don't actually eat wings. I go to Buffalo Wild Wings to get mini corn dogs. They also have like the, they're called buffalo chips. They're like the circles. They're like circular french fries. And whenever I go there, I get those. And then I put them in ketchup. And then I also ask for shredded cheese on the side which is like really embarrassing and then I just like put the cheese on it too so it's basically like a french fry with ketchup and cheese but now when I say it like that that's not weird at all because people will literally get cheese fries and put ketchup on them so I don't know where I'm going with this I don't really eat weird things I guess not anymore next question what's the most spontaneous thing that's ever happened to you where should we start I can approach this question in two different ways I can either say like what's the most spontaneous thing that's happened to you and that would be when I went to bed one night woke up at five in the morning and decided to go on a road trip immediately without thinking it ahead I, I flew home from Washington DC and when I got home I was like oh my god I kind of want to go to Ohio tomorrow but I wasn't really thinking that I was going to then we woke up at 5 a.m. and ended up driving to Ohio, so that was pretty spontaneous to me, you know, quirky, adventurous. Another way to phrase that question would be, like, what happened to me? I don't even think I'm speaking the right language right now. I cannot do this. Definitely when I was in Boston, because I was supposed to have a sleepover with my friend, but then I just ended up sleeping on the floor of a hotel with my other friends. I don't really know why things like that happen to me, but they do. Or like another spontaneous thing I did was in New York. Me and my friend were going to stay at her friend's apartment. We got there at 2 a.m., but then we had to leave at 4 a.m. to go to the airport. So I literally went in this girl's apartment, crashed on her couch for two hours, got up and left, and never met the girl. One time, I flew home 
like my flight was at 6 a.m. Got home, went to school, straight from school I went back to the airport and flew to a different city. That was pretty spontaneous too. I'm you know, a little adventurous. Next question. What kind of crack do you do? This is a good question for my question and answer. This is the content we've been waiting for. So I do crack like all the time. I don't actually do real crack. People just call me a crackhead because I'm literally crazy. I'm literally bouncing off the walls every day. People just call me a crackhead, but I don't actually do crack, so please don't call the police. I have no possession of any drugs. Not a real crackhead. The crack that I do the most is McDonald's Sprite. For those of you who don't know, if you go on like Twitter and stuff, there's like memes of it. McDonald's Sprite is just made of electricity. If you drink McDonald's Sprite, it's like McDonald's Sprite contains crack. I don't care what anybody says. There was a meme on Twitter that was actually really funny. I don't remember how it was phrased, but it was like you put your phone in McDonald's Sprite and it'll charge your phone. You don't understand until you drink it. It's intense, dude. McDonald's crack. So yeah, that's most of the crack I do. Sometimes the crack I run off of is just other people's energy. If I'm with other crackheads, we run off of each other's energy and that's a mess. I just do a lot of crack, you know? I didn't really get any more questions. I just got two more questions. My followers are so loyal right now. They already know I'm in the middle of filming and they just keep coming. They're so good to me. Double smoked bacon or a croissant? If you guys don't eat Starbucks. I don't eat Starbucks anymore, but I used to a lot. The double smoked bacon is basically just like bread. Not bread, that's gross. Like, it's like a croissant kind of. I don't know what the type of bread is called actually. It's like a fancy croissant because it's like a bun. And then it's just egg, cheese, and bacon. Everybody knows what a croissant is and they're not different at Starbucks. Starbucks has really good chocolate croissants. Like if you get that warmed up in the microwave, but the question was not chocolate croissant, it was croissant or double smoked bacon. I'm still gonna have to go with croissant because last time I had a double smoked bacon, the bacon wasn't cooked and the bread was crusty. Starbucks, please don't sue me. I think the croissants are better. This video is slowly going downhill and it's slowly ending before it even started and I need content so please ask me questions, guys. I know by the time you see this, you won't be able to ask me questions and you'll probably regret it. So you should probably just do it now while you have the opportunity. So basically I just went to go get dinner so that way more people would send in questions. So now I'm back and I'm ready to answer your questions. I have my friend Kenny here to help me in case I need advice. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is not Alan's channel, it's my channel. So yeah, thank you. What's our favorite song? Our favorite song is Squirrels in My Pants, S-I-M-P, you know, by Phineas and Ferb. Next question. How did you find out Santa was fake? I don't remember how I found out, but I'm pretty sure it was at school. It was like fourth grade, I think. People would talk about it, and like I just kind of figured it out through other people. Santa is real, and if you say otherwise, I'm gonna cry. Next question. What was your favorite function? I don't really have a favorite because each one had something good about it. I'd say either Boston or Minneapolis. Whose would you want to from if wasn't there? Sorry, I have stage fright. Okay, so this might be the end. It might not be the end. If I get more questions like good ones, I'll just answer them later. So this could just be another intermission, but it might possibly be the end. I don't think it's the end. So just keep asking me questions now please hey skinnies i'm back it's the next day i didn't really get that many questions overnight like i thought i would okay so i'm gonna finish this video off with the final question that i got and that is what celebrity would you rate a perfect 10 sean mendes he's very unproblematic and very successful and very handsome sean mendes 10 out of 10 Thank you guys for watching. I know this video sucked. I'm just trying to create content so maybe my YouTube channel can start itself. I hope you like it anyways, but if you didn't like it, still give it a thumbs up because I'm desperate and I need more support. Please help me. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.